Tina. Come on, girls, just don't argue. Tina, just... in the back, in the back. Oh. Come on. See you later, love. Bye, darling. Have a good day. Come on, Dad. We've got the time today. Uh, I'll give you a call, okay? All right. Zulu 3 to Zulu 1. Target's leaving. Heading north. Got both girls up. Left indicator on. Heading your way, Tiva. Okay. I'm going to get into Jetson because this prick decides to come my way. Travelling on St Kilda Street. We've got one for cover. We've got none for cover now, Spider. Whenever you're ready. Approaching Bay Street. Left indicator on. Approaching the corner. Left into Bay Street. Indicator off. I've got none for cover now. Spider is yours as soon as you can. Plenty of getting a family's done a Yui Sarge. Pulling into the school. Letting the little brats out. This is where you went to school, Nix. <laughs> sure. I went to Brody High. <laughs> yeah, Brody. Okay, Nix. Over to you. Heading towards the lodge. Oh. Increasing his clicks. He's got the amber. He should be stopping. Oh, shit. Shit, damn. What's up? Uh, nothing too drastic, boss. Target made the lights so I didn't sort of have to jump the red a bit. Frightened an old bloke. Doing 30 clicks. Just hope there's no red light camera. You're wearing it if there is. Coming out now. Like a whale? Yeah. Looks like smokes again. Don't you hate a man who loves routine? He's backing out. Turning left, heading eastbound. Yeah, we've got him. Need anything at the market? <laughs> Making them even two dozen and, uh, you know, see you again this week. OK, then, no problems, Andy. Listen, I'll give you a buzz to about these, uh, about these curves. Still with Baldy. Right. Okay. I'll have to hand on the kids. Yeah, OK, I'll do that. Get a green, mate. See ya. Oh, yes, you are. Ah, mate, you can set your watch by this bastard. Yipes, spoke too soon. The bloke's giving him a yell. I know him. Head he's with now. Races or someplace. When I did a BCI job. Come on. Give Uncle Spider a nice cheesy grin. Next. Looking good this morning. <laughs> Mad Maury. Who? Maury Bannerman. He's a desperate man. Deals at the games, runs bets for Alex DSP. Anything for a stake. He looked to be working there. He does, mate. Like you deal all night and do a full shift the next morning by the whole bloody lot of the trots by lunchtime. Used to be a gig for the drug squad still they gave me the ass. Well, I don't know. Apart from that, your bloke looks lily white. Leaves home at 7.30. Drops the kids off at 7.45. Picks up his biz from the warehouse. So this is the lace stuff that he imports? Napkins, tablecloths, whatever. Then he goes around the markets all day. Tuesday and Thursday, it's the Vic and Paran. Wednesday, it's Footscray. Right out standing on. There's nothing on him. He's your average self employed, hard working, successful businessman. Well, we've got to find a connection, mate, because these bastards came back and raped the old lady. And they used my name to get inside. Major crime. Now, you've never heard of this Flanagan before? No, nah, new one on me. None of the boys know him either. And there's no way that he could have been doing any business without you blokes jeering what was going on. You think I'm screwing up, not doing my job? No, right mate, no way. way. It's just that everything points to him. Now, all our information says that he is involved in the Agbergs and the importation. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting nothing back from surveillance, as you say. 
I'm calling it as I see it. If he does nothing, I've got nothing to give you. My crew's bored shitless. And I reckon the super's starting to think this is a waste of time. Well, Wallace. We've got to fax him a copy of the running sheets at the end of each shift. Big brother watching the watcher there, mate. Check it out. You know, at two surveillance crews, four telephone personnel and six vehicles are cost to run. Not offhand. All because some sly old fart says so. Should have known better. I know the mail came from Stan, but everything fits. Flanagan's connections, his business, he's an ex-docker. It's got to be right. I reckon Flanagan did the mailbag job at the rail yard. Did you work on that? Yeah, I was at the local CI at the time. Now, Stan's toying with us, Lou. I feel it. He's laughing his freaking head off. Even if Flanagan is our organiser, could smoulder for a month before he shows his hand. Mm, don't think we've got a month. There's no guarantees with us. Oh, where are that? A huge effort's been put in by a lot of people. It'd be a pity to scrap it at this stage. And down to resources. Tig have had the job simming for the past month. It's going to reach boiling point in a few days. They'll need the shadowers for that. Are you giving us a deadline? Faithful might be chasing moonbeams on the say-so of a con man. The best I can do is tomorrow night. OK, we'll be freezing our tits off for you. Yeah, thanks, mate. You've got to be bloody joking, boss. They reckon you've had all the resources you've wanted for the last week and you're no further advanced. No one said, sir, that this would be quick. We'll make the most of it. Come tomorrow night and we've still got nothing. We lose the shadowers. So you reckon he went into bat? Well, I think Wallace wanted to shut it down sooner. You reckon Stan snowed us? Bullshit he has. Not with a bloke like Flanagan, he'd be too bloody scared. Then it shouldn't be too hard coming up with something, should it? Don't I know you? Face rings a bell. Mmm, I have a bit of that. I'll give you some cake too if you're tying Flanny in the drink soon. No, we can't do that. Mickey's lying low. Very quiet. Bugger all movement. Well, losing the dogs, Tick's got something on the go. Thought you might have some information to give me another starting point. Mm, nothing I can think of, no. What are you going to do? Go back to the start. See if I can find something I missed. So I guess you won't be in for dinner again. Hmm. I suppose I couldn't tempt you with something nice by the fire. Take a rain check on that. Don't wait too long. Mm -hmm. I won't wait up. So could you pick him up from school, please, and will you tell him that I will be home on time? So, how did your exam go? Good. Good on you. OK, bye. So, Peter, what do you want? You won't get much for a slice of cake, you know. Well, I uh, maybe just can't see the forest for the trees. I thought a fresh mind might help. Uh-uh, sorry. Promised Tom I'd be home tonight. Well, we can't break a promise. Don't suppose you'd like to see where his mum works? Down there, are you, Grant? Five seven, five Mate, seven, double seven. Five seven, double seven. Five seven, double seven. So, some bloke that Flanagan rang back on the on the eighteenth. No, nope. doesn't match anything we got. No bloody wonder it's a local police station. He's ringing about his kid's bike that he knocked off. This is hopeless. This prick's airtight. Now he hasn't made one call in the last ten days. It's remotely sus. And with Stan and Reese being brought in, he's got to be belling someone just to, just to keep a lid on this thing. Funny. What? Hang on, hang on. He always buys his cigarettes from the Food Plus. Well, I'll be blowed if I would, not when they're cheaper at the markets. How are we going? Freezing the balls off. Better get four other heads. <laughs> Ugly bunch. Plenty of money on the table. Big money. And we work long hours. We got two off with the flu. Oh, I must admit it, I missus thought I'd left home last week. Tell me about it. 
Hamburger. I wouldn't say we don't do nothing for you. Really. So how we doing? Vanilla. Your blood should be finished soon. And we can all go home to bed. Shit finds its own level, doesn't it? When he goes to the Food Plus store of a morning... To get smokes. How long is he usually in there for? We may just be on a winner here, guys. Left indicator on. Turning into the Food Plus. I'm continuing. Whoops, and I spy with my little eye the major crime squad. Yeah, just get down lunch, mate. Yeah, 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 no sweat. Listen, sweet as a nut, I'll give him a bell now. Yeah, yeah, he's expecting a call. I'll let you know how I get on. All right? Yeah, get out, man. No, 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 not a problem. Yeah, good. Good, yeah. Listen, I, um, I just think it might be a good idea if we have a meeting, you know? Nah, 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 no worries. Payphone, two calls. Shifty bastard. A payphone. Should have sussed it before, boss. It's a classic. It's also a nightmare to try and get a warrant for. So, what else is new, boss? Public telephone. Being used by a crook. It may be a crook. And being used by anybody else who goes in there. No, it won't wash. Not without stronger grounds. Wallace wouldn't even try for it. Well, with respect, sir, you're not saying he's going to all this bother just to ring dial a prayer. So he's got to find it home? At the warehouse? There's a, there's phones at the markets, he's got a mobile telephone, and yet he chooses to make calls from a food plus store. And he's been doing it under the shadow of his nose for a week, and only Darv's twigged it. Run me through it again. If I have to get a warrant for a phone that squeaky clean citizens use, I need to know exactly what I'm bloody well talking about. A listening device and telephone intercepts have been installed in the home and place of work. To no avail. Inspector. On occasion, I've purchased cigarettes from a convenience store. I've been known to make a call from a coin-operated telephone. I appreciate that many people utilize them. Your Honor is, however, not in similar circumstances to this particular individual. I should hope not. Or you might consider that I was involved in criminal activity. <laughs> I'm afraid I shall require further convincing. You'll find detailed resumes of the six aggravated burglaries, the nature of each assault, the amount and value of the property stolen. We allege the burglaries were a callous fundraiser against the defenceless elderly to finance a drug importation. So, uh... I'm prepared to issue a warrant, but you'll find I'll be stipulating stringent conditions. Aha. Uh -huh. Good morning, Mr Flanagan. Nice of you to be so punctual. He's turning into the food plus. He's getting out of the car. All right, he's going inside. Keep your fingers crossed, guys. It's me. How's things? Still tropical. What's gone wrong? Ah, uh, no, I swear the shipment's fine. I was thinking about furniture, man. Oh, Jesus, you had me worried for a minute. Uh, QC's running on time. Yep, yeah, won't be long now. Indeed. A very profitable enterprise we're all concerned. A bit risky for some. No problems, though. Plain sailing, mate. Talk to you soon. Plain sailing, mate. Talk to you soon. Do we know the number he ran? Yeah, it's a phone box in Hampton, boss. Tricky. Very tricky. Who's QC? Don't know, apart from the obvious. Silk. That could be a big break in life, boss. Importation from the legal eagles. And what about the bloke he was talking to? Do we know who that is? No. Bloody cryptic. You'd read anything into it. Oh, come on, boss. I mean, we're blanking all your bloody life. This is a second call, a uh, hotel in Port Melbourne, front desk. Northside Lodge. Told him to cool it. If he makes contact again, he wishes back and 
Mr. He wants to see you. I told him to piss off. You know where he is now? No. I made it clear our business was over and done. He's crazy. You know what he's capable of. He won't leave me alone. Sharon, what do you want me to do? I don't know. Can I see you? No, I'm in Danny not this afternoon. I'm scared, Vic. Okay, okay. Usual place. After work. Thanks. Well, who's that? The girlfriend? It's not a crime to have a bit of tail on the side, is it? We think it's a bloke she's been talking about who's the interesting one. That? Yes. Yeah. But you think he might be one of your heads? One of our Agbergs? They've labelled him as a crazy. And it's a crazy we're after. Now, why else would Flanagan be so jumpy? Does the name Baz mean anything to you, Darby? No, sir. Every crook named Barry's been called Baz at some stage or another. Coincidence. If there's a connection with the Bergs, you find it. I'll persuade Wallace to keep the shadowers on Flanagan. You'll have to deal with the woman yourselves. Dell, you reading me? Go ahead, Nix. This bloke's a cunning bastard. He's out in the open. Yeah, I got him. Watch out for the majors. Thank God. Nah, maybe he's taking no for an answer. Mm, maybe. Go on, matey. He knows where I work. That's the worry. Look, if uh, he fronts, get word to me somehow. Yeah, OK. Uh, I'll sort the journey out. Good on you, Marty. Right, well, while well, you guys have been out having fun, I've been going through the photo books. Sharon Ann Fuchs. How's that? Fuchs, F-O-W-K-E-S, <laughs> single, 29, Prize for possession of heroin and prostitution. Fuchs by name, Fuchs by nature, with a look of her. She's working oh. at the Northside Lodge and currently living at 8A Bryson mm. Road, St Kilda, with her four-year-old son. Sounds like it. she's doing it the hard way. Sounds like she's doing it the <laughs> back, mate. It's Flanagan pork in her. I'm not so sure. They seem to be close, though. What about Baz? Don't know. Hope to find oh, out more about that in a couple of days. Yeah, yeah. I want to tie in yeah. Flanagan to uh, his receiver. Now, we've got to find a link somewhere. All right, we'll say we go for a warrant on Flanagan's bank accounts. I could see someone at management level and just give his local bloke. It's very devious. Do it. Docker, get onto the council. Get him to pull the parking tickets from around Reese's house and shops. Anything with Flanagan's reg, I want it. No right. worries. Fluff? It's all right, mate. I'm on it. Fluff, I want you to get on the telecom. Phone statements. OK, mate. Now, how'd you go with your mate down at Australia Post? Oh, I think he's got cold, bloody feet. Well, hunt him up, OK? I want a log on all his mail coming in. Postmarks, return addresses, right, even mate. if it's dirty postcards, all right? You got it. Yep. Now, Wallace has given us the dogs till the end of the week. Now, this prick is up to his neck and shit. So let's make the shit stick. Sharon passing. Jeez, mate, on a scale of one to ten, I'd give her one. Ooh. How are you? Bit scared? Shit, had been in touch. No, I had a bad night last night. Why? Oh, Marty was up most of the night coughing pretty bad. It's no good, eh? I'm taking him to the doctor after work. I'm hoping it's just a walk and not bronchitis like last time. 805, received call from Flanagan, no sighting of Baz. Brief talk of sick kid. 1210, left to buy lunch. 1220, returned. 1540, left work early, picked up kid from the care centre, took him to the doctor. 1712, left the doctor, took the tram home. The doctor's sitting off the place now. That's it, folks. So, in other words, two days and still no sign of Baz? No, well, she's obviously freaked by him, whoever he is. Scared that he might turn up, but why? Who knows? How'd you blast go? Telecom? Uh, no go, mate. They were spinning your yarn, but your twig was bullshit. <laughs> Bank statements? Uh, went back 12 months, but nothing tied in with Reese, and same with parking tickets, no joy. Mate, what about uh, Flanagan and his uh, mate in the phone box? You rang him back, yeah? You know about the QC business? No, not a peep. Yeah. Grumpy, can you get on the local TAG, see if any of the jury staff has recognised Flanagan's car? Bit of a bloody long shot, isn't it? Mate, can you just do it? Hey, Fluff. Yeah, mate? You're some bastard, won't you? What's your extension? Well, it depends how angry it is. <laughs> 2405, mate. Uh, done. 
Yeah. Here you go with those mirror codes you provide. Oh, shit, I forgot. Well, you know how to hurt, bloke. Can you give me five minutes? Well, that's what they Boom, boom. How'd you go to Queensland here? Uh, one of them pulled a blade at me at the butt strike with me shoddy. It's nasty. Yeah, break his jaw. Serve the prick right. That's what I told him. My ID's at the hospital holding his hand. If it'd been in bloody banana land, I'd have broken his bloody neck. Well, watch your back, mate. Just watch your Not back. in, mate. Yes. Aussie Post is on the floor, mate. Apparently there was an airmail letter came through for Flanagan yesterday, Gibbs. It was in it. Bill of bloody lading, mate. For a consignment of goods, QC Export Company, Quazon City, full of bloody pains, mate. Mate, if I was a big fag like Grumpy, I'd give you a boot. It's <laughs> great, mate. Ain't it about... Hi, uh, Sergeant Faithful, Victoria Police. Yeah, go in. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Look, my shout next time you're down. Sergeant Faithful. As I live and breathe. So, how things going in the high powered world of customs? <laughs> Must be my day for the law. I've just been on the bone to your federal colleagues in Canberra. The uh, plastic fantastic. Now, now, now. Nature's gentlemen. Especially your stuff up an X rated movie seizure like I did last week. Oh, they caught their fair whack, did they? <laughs> Anyway, uh, enough slagging off our allies in crime fighting. What can I do for you? I need some details on the container that's due in from Quazon City next week. Oh, yeah? It's sus, is it? Well, you tell me and we'll both know. He's imported 12 times in the last three years and always used the same supplier. Now he's using the QC mob. And you think that's the same QC he was talking about on the phone? Yes. What does it say the goods are? Miscellaneous tableware? Well, it could be anything. It could be miscellaneous tableware. Could be drugs, too. What do you think? Well, Flanagan's stalls are legit. There's no freelancing on the side. Maybe he simply changed importers. And again, maybe he had to. The Philippine anti-corruption squads have been tightening the screws lately. That's what I reckon. OK, so if this is going on, there's a good chance the dockers would be involved. They've got the wharfs locked as tight as the fish's ass. Flanagan's an ex-docker. So where's the contact? I don't know. Yet. Nipper. Hey. Well, How are you? Hey, you're right. How's the family? Oh, good, good. Yeah, pot. Yeah. A couple of pots, thanks, mate. The lads playing for the school now? What, Ruck? Goalkeeper. God. How long have you been in this country for? 27 years. Still a bloody yeah. heathen. Come on. So, what's happening down the docks? Fuck on. Very quiet. Why? What are you looking for? Well, I need a bit of a favour. Is that a uh, wee one or a big one? Well, it's a little one to you. Big one to me. You yeah, Sharon's a bit of a good looker. I hadn't noticed. <laughs> Nothing? Nah. Not that he's heard. He's uh, gonna have to get back to me in a couple of days and uh, let me know. He would know. This gig, I mean. He's been on the wharf 20 years. He uh, got caught up in a container scam a couple of years back. I helped to keep him out of the nick. He's been giving me gold ever since. Informers are a great source, but you never know anything in a shit in your lap. Well, if he hears anything, you let me know. So where's that leave you? A couple of irons in the fire. You got any other irons? Electronic surveillance. Maybe we won't get much movement down there until a couple of days before the ship docks. Hey, Grumpy, where's your wisdom tooth? On the back. Oh, what? Christ, it's giving me buggery. Oh, fair thinking I'm falling apart. Who's that? Dunno. Not easy. Uh, yeah, don't quote me, mate, but I think we've just sighted the mystery bears. Shortish, slim build. Has he got a moustache? Yeah, sort of a straggly one, but the bad news is black hair. Right. Yeah, Roger, that keep us posted. Well, that still leaves the other prick. Hello? Sharon's heading back. Her bloke's eyeballed her. Uh, Noddy, we've got a bit of an altercation here. Our bloke's hands on. She's pissed him off. He's hitting the toe. He's uh, crossing the road. He's 
getting into a green Tirana 74 shit I couldn't get the red eye number. Stay with him, Crumb. Tabs will know that red eye. Roger. Basil Ledovitz, also known as Baz, 31, thought to be living at 276 Duncan Street, St Kilda. Is that where your crew tracked him? About two hours ago. Looks like an accommodation house. He's got recent priors for drug of addiction and armed robbery, trying to do over a bank. When did he get out of stir? As far as I can tell, about nine months ago, but I'm still checking that. Any connection with our other two? Not a lot, only that the bank and the drugs charges were about the same time as Sharon's possession. This could be your coincidence, but I'm trying to chase up the informant at St Kilda CI to get more details. Look, either way, he's looking good. This black hair could be out of a bottle. Now, he's a drug user, he's into stick-ups, and now he's tied in with Flanagan. Assuming Flanagan's our man. <laughs> we don't know why this Baz is pestering the Sharon girl or why Flanagan's spooked by him. What we do know is that Tig is screaming at me for tying up half of BCI. So I hope you're right. It's me. I said not to ring me at home, you know. He was outside work today when I came back from lunch. Shit. Wanting some bucks for a hit. If he gets off his face, he'll end up being picked up by the Did car. Did he follow you home? Oh, I don't think so. He had a car and drove off. We can't talk now. I'll ring you first thing tomorrow morning. Where's along Fitzwilliam Street? 60 clicks. Three for cover. We've been all over the friggin' road. OK, I'll back at the lights. Let's see my take it. No, sweet. Oh, where's Baz now? Uh, he's still trying to score. Gonna wait till he props, then Fluff and, uh, and Grumpy are gonna do his house over with the goose. Good intelligence for the drug squad on street users. Mm. Go team, mate. West along Morton, 30 clicks. Looks like he's headed for Footscray. Roger that, mate. Trying to make five to crime through zero. Crime through zero. Hey, what's it go, Doc? Fluffy, I reckon you got about half an hour. Police cop credit card. Don't leave home without it. Not a year. Uh, just executed the warrant, mate. Right, Roger, right, we say that. Keep me posted. Hello? Yes, it's Senior Detective Darby here from the Major Crime Squad. I'm trying to get an update on a Detective Constable Brandon yeah, Cox. Right. Thanks for that. Thanks. Ah, saved my life. Thank you. What's happening? Well, according to the dogs, Baz is spending half the day trying to feed his habit, but uh, no one takes credit anymore. Well, that's the cash economy for you. Oh, right. <laughs> Thanks. Where is he now? Thank you. Is there any change? No, nothing yet. Yes, I'm oh. Hello, I'm trying to locate trouble. a senior detective, well, Brendan Cox, well, who was transferred from St Kilda. That's the usual thing. Oh, one side Oh, he is. Yeah. <laughs> right. Evidently, he's at Paran CI now. That's the member who did uh, Sharon for possession. So I'm going to go there on my way home to see if there's any connections with the other charges. And I'm going to give them a blast for not updating their bloody records. Connections with Baz? Yeah, well, it happened about the same time. Well, you never know. They might know something. See you, Peter. Yeah, good hunting. Sulu one to crime A5. Noddy. Still the one guy. Target scored something, mate. Heading back towards his flat. He'll be as high as a kite by the time he gets here. Uh, Zilla one received that, and uh, thanks, Dale. Check out Sherlock bloody Holmes here, mate. <laughs> Anything? A real rat turds on you. Not exactly choppers with stolen antiques, is it? Go, Pete. Roger that time ago, eh? Yeah? A limit entry, my dear, was it? Looks like real rat shit's uh, sort of trumps, eh, hey, Goose? Not him, mate. He's all over the road here. Turn left to Wilton. I think he's going to the motel. Roger, mate, thanks. Baz is hassling Sharon, Noddy, so she's just gone back inside. Hello? He's here. What? Outside. He was waiting for me to leave work. I'll be there in five minutes. Yeah, right. Thanks, mate. Fluff, dump the goose, back up the dogs. Flanagan's going after Baz. Oh. Uh, crime 30 to crime 85. Yeah, it's our boy. 
Flanagan's arrived. He's uh, talking to Baz. Uh, here we go. Uh, Pete. Go ahead. This could get physical. What's the go? Just hang off. Don't keep your hand. If Flanagan susses were onto him, we could lose the lot. I'll ring D24. No worries. Get to send a local car. Drive past. No action. Oh, Ooh. shit. Oh. Ouch. Um, Nasty bastard. Crime three zero to crime eight five drama over. Roger received. That's our bully, mate. Flanagan gave him a couple and sent him on his way. Yes. Why? Even if he had rubbed Flanagan up the wrong way, why would he give him a belting out in the open like that? He's taking one hell of a risk if this man's one of our egg burglars. We don't know the connection with the woman. Now, it wouldn't be the first time that a bloke's come unstuck over a bit of crumpet. Oh, it doesn't feel right somehow. Well, sir, time will tell. Any forensic evidence? Nothing at the house. Typical junkie. I've been to corrective services, drug rehab, and two bloody parlours, and I'm about to give you a pain in the ass. Bass was on with Sharon. When? About four years back, after she split up with Flanagan. Now, she met Flanagan when she was stripping. And he set her up in a little bit of a love nest. Now, when he wouldn't leave his wife, she split without telling him she was three months pregnant. So the kid's his? Yep. So after she had the boy, she met up with Baz, who was on two caps of heroin a day. And he got her onto it, but when the money from her escort work wasn't enough, he robbed a bank, got himself caught in a security screen, didn't he? Yeah. So Flanagan found out about the boy. And he made sure she did rehab, got her the flat and the job, and has been keeping an eye on him ever since. And he's back on with him? No, it's all straight down the line, apparently. I wonder if his wife knows about it. So when Baz got out, he started nosing around Sharon again. That doesn't rule him out. Yeah, but as I said, he got out of the revolving bloody door at Pentridge, but he was extradited straight up to New South Wales for an outstanding goods in custody. He spent the past five months in Long Bay. Well, that rules him out of our inquiry. Mm, sorry, Noddy. Sir, and we got company. IID. Oh, Noddy. Yeah, mate. That bloke ring back? Which bloke's that? I didn't say. Pom by the sound of it. I don't want to ride you, but uh, I need those bloody marcades. Yeah, you do. I did say five, but that's So what you're saying is the container won't be coming in off the dock? Well, it will, but the drugs will not be in it. They'll probably bash a hole in the side accidentally with a forklift or something, whack it in for the pairs, take the drugs out and then stick them in a van. What van? Delivery van. Drive it out the gate next morning and Bob's your bloody uncle. It's very neat. Who's organising this? Well, I'm not sure. But there's only one block it could be. Keep your eye on Rocky Wilson. Where it is, he's making a big comeback. Oh, one other thing. You said it'd be like five days before this happened? Yeah. We are here at this job, still got two weeks. Two weeks? It's the word. Thanks, mate, I owe you. Mm. And remember, not a soul. I want to see my son grow up. Yeah, he's uh, here now, Digger. Got a big smile on his face. You know that uh, importation we were talking about the other day? Yeah, I think it might be a real goer, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice to cut a big pile off at the pass. <laughs> no problems. Let's just say I'm square for that cock up. Thanks a lot, mate. Uh, see you, mate. Here, yeah, Digger. He's gone. Rocky Wilson. How reliable is this information? It's corroborated at customs. But we still don't know what's coming in. Not yet we don't, sir, but we will before it arrives. It's either heroin or cocaine. Now, even without the Agbergs, that is a top pinch. So what are you saying? Maintain surveillance on this Flanagan? OK, I'll try the Chief Super. But I have to say, this will be your last shot. He's getting sick of me saying, we have reason to believe. Thank you very much, sir. How'd you go with that other suspect? Baz. He ended up getting scratched, sir. Scratched? At the time of the Agbergs, he had another engagement. Love spending my nights like this. <laughs> did I? Hey, did you bring your cards? What? Could be your lucky night. I'll see. 
No hamburgers. Get stuffed. What's that? Nothing much. Flanagan's on a losing streak. Drink more dough than you earn in a week. That time you had a little bit of luck. Just about the push-off, just waiting on the running sheets. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Hitting a few hurdles with this one. Mm -hmm. Every time I think I'm going to kick a goal, it falls on me. Mm -hmm. I've got Wallace breathing down my neck. And the only thing that keeps me going is I know, I know it's him. Flanagan, yeah. Has to be. Mm -hmm. Well, trust your sixth sense, huh? I am. But what if I'm wrong? What about that dinner and our open fire? Well, I'm not very hungry. But the fire sounds great. Mmm. Wakey, wakey, hands off, snakey. You can ignore that, Nix. Noddy, he's going shopping again, mate. He's going inside. Show again. No, no sign of him. Thanks, Vic. See you later. He's dialing again. You ready, Nix? <gasps> we got an empty box here, Noddy. <sighs> it's me. QC finally came through. What's the story? Definitely on its way, due in a fortnight. No more holdups. Terrific news. Yeah, I'm paying that bloke today as arranged. Let me know how you go. Okay, Nix, he's rung off. Any sign? <sighs> no show. Target's left the store. Yeah. Flanagan's as cunning as a shit house rat. He's changed plans, <laughs> running a new number. Shit. Roger. Change of plans, mate. He's coming my way. No sweat. I've got him. Hey, Nod. What? Do a second. Cover. Mate, you are pulling the dogs off. What, what does this say? April Fool's Day? Were you kidding me? No, no, I've just been speaking to the senior sergeant. Dell's getting the news on the radio. This TIG job has gone down in a big way. Don't they realise they could jeopardise the whole operation? It was always on the cards. We knew it might happen. Just when you think you're doing okay, you get kicked in the guts by your own. That's no, the ball game. All right, we'll roll with the punches. Even if we have to do the dogging ourselves. Yep. If we can find the target. Crime mate 5 to Zulu 1. Crime mate 5 to Zulu 1, Zulu 2. Any Zulu unit receiving. Shit. Rump, uh, how many cars have we got? Uh, as of this minute, none. Mooney? Yep, see what I can do. Doctor, can you get onto um, Dell's office, ascertain from Dell the last sighting of our target? No, no worries. Dubs, could you get me a list of um, Flanagan's known associates, every address we got? Yeah, no worries. Thanks. Flat. Yeah, I'll uh, grab Deputy Dog's car and I'll piss off the mark. You're a mind reader. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. And I've lost a prick. Call to a zero to crime eight five. Russell here, sitting off Morris. At the motel, no bloody sign. Uh, at the market now. Shit, it's going to take some time, by the look of it. Right to zero to Crime Mate 5. Russell here. Flanning has just arrived with Murray. He's dropped him off. I got him. Piece of piss, mate. Piece of piss. Oh shit, he's 
gone round again. Bastard, hang back. Don't go round. Do not follow the bastard. I'm still with him. Very bloody tricky. This is definitely not a piece of piss, guys. He's got eyes in his ass. He's looking for a tail. We seem to be uh, heading for the city. Grumpy, are you there? He's off the air. Doesn't have a portable radio. Fluff, how far off are you from Little Birch Street? Uh, about five minutes, maybe. Yes, mate. Detective Senior Sergeant Major, Major, Major Quine's got an assistance and fast. Little Birch Street area. Who have you got there? It'll be a long walk home. Well? Just one moment. You all right, mate? You want me to call a policeman? You scared the shit out of me back there, pal. Explain, mister, and you'd better make it bloody good. Lady, you just saved my life. Uh, excuse me, can I use your phone? Yes. Can you call 505 4986 for me, please? 505 Okay. Thank you very much. Look, uh, I'm sorry for throwing a bit of a fright into you back there. That's all right. Pete, it's Russell. Get Fluff into Flinders Lane, fast.
If the container comes through, we've got a connection. Flanagan and Rocky Wilson independently in the frame for an importation. Now, if that's not good enough for Mr Wallace, I don't know what is. What do you reckon? Oh, it's two separate bits of information. Peter's got them tied together. Yeah, I think the chicken's coming home to roost. I've always said, time spent on reconnaissance is never time wasted. And a man is not a camel. <laughs> I'm sorry, will you just excuse me for a second? Oi! Hey, can you keep the noise down, but I can't hear a bloody thing. Sorry, hey, talk to your mum, eh? <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, what were you saying? Saturday? Uh, yep, yeah, I'm free Saturday. Well, cheap anyway. <laughs> I said I'm... Hey, Del. Oh, now listen, Del. I hear that your, uh, your TIG operation fell through some time. Yeah, well, it looks like you blokes can do without us. Oh, yeah. But maybe not totally without us. Is that a beast you want look like one? Let's say I leave it up to you to choose the rest Spider of the Snap Mori talking to these two heads at the market just after Flanagan left. Could be a mystery map in the uh, phone box. Dude, no, I ran a check know. on the plates, mate, and guess what? What? Plastic Fantastics, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Get shit. away. The AFP are muscling in. Well, mate, that's another good job going west, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Won't take the Where'd fence on the screw it up. Yeah, yeah, okay then. So, um, 8.30. Yeah, it'd be lovely. Yeah, I'll look forward to it. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> but I like a mix. Ah, grumpy. You got a can? Uh, grumpy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, look, you know that that woman that helped me out the other day? Yeah. She was um, she's just on the phone. And, uh, she wants to take me out to dinner. I think she wants to use my body. Yeah. Yeah. Grumpy. Yeah. Grumpy. You're a dirty little. <laughs> Thank you.